Today we're going to talk about the brand new top-down e-services. So what we've got here is a standard production top-down 600. However, what we've done is we've created something really amazing, which is a top-down e-services, which has been able to work all four zones from the tractor cab using an iPad and Vedastad's renowned e-service system. What we've got here is a demand from our farmers and customers so that we can optimise the machine and get it set just exactly as we want to use it to get the optimum agronomy, the optimum depth in all four zones. We're familiar with the system disc, we're familiar with the top-down tines, with the rolling action and the mixing. We've got the levelers to level up after the top-down tines and the double steel runner. All these things can be set from the tractor cab and when we change the depth, we can optimise it so that they all compensate without changing the depth. So we can change the depth of the tine and the other zones remain the same depth. Okay, let's go and take a closer look. We've got a new 1050 Fent. On the back of it, we have Power Beyond. So we have our main feed from the direct from the tractor's pump. We've got a free flow return and then we've got a load sensing line. So this is an LS machine which allows us to be able to optimise on the move when we're using the machine from the tractor cab using e-services. It always has a constant oil supply so that we can automatically make adjustments. On this tractor we also have the ability with the top-down e-service to use the top-down in a classic way. If we had a problem with the tractor, we can still use it normally on the tractor spools. In this case, we need four sub spools for the four zones, if you like. That gives us the opportunity to use the LS to its optimum, but we can also, if the tractor had to be changed, if the tractor failed, we can put a replacement tractor on it that doesn't have LS, hydraulics, and we can still go top down it. Here we have a hydraulic filter for the LS. And what we learned when we were testing the machine was that we had contamination in the hydraulic spools which are laid further down the machine at the back of the main beam. So this is a good protection and that protects all the hydraulic valves, contamination and everything. That's a good, good upgrade if you like. We also notice a cover on the top. In this case, all our hydraulic uh, hoses are located on the top of the main beam. And this is a, something that's visual and the neighbor can see that from a distance that the farmer's got a new machine when we launch it. When we move further down the machine, you'll see that we've got this big cover here. And this is with the location of all the hydraulic valves, which are now separated into individual blocks per zone, which we've got four zones. And in there also is the weight distribution of pressure control for the rear steel runner and also we have an LS valve that controls the oil flow so the main hydraulic manifold is now located at the rear of the machine what we also have in here is the workstation x and we also have our own gateway as well which we're familiar with that with e-services we explained that this is a standard production top down however we've got two cylinders now which are designed especially for this e-services machine which gives us the ability to change the pressure on the rear steel runner or lift it off as and when we need to. Under this cover is a radial angle sensor. That tells the workstation X the position in this case of the system disc. We also have one on the wheel carriage for the time depth and we also have one on the levelers as well. These are telling the iPad and the e-services the position for each one of those sections. Okay, so here's the top-down leg and the cylinder that protects the leg for the kickback from stones. What we can do is we can change the pressure from this using the e-services as well. Here we have our familiar e-services. Got an iPad and an e-keeper like we have on the planters and seed drills. Here we have our screen, our home screen, showing the system disc, showing the tines, levelers and steel runner. Each zone is represented by these four boxes. Those show the actual working depth of the machine in centimetres. However, the depth control is infinite. And we can control this all via the Wi-Fi to the gateway at the rear of the machine. Top left, we've got the kilometres per hour or forward speed. We've got our hectare reading, which we've never had on a top down before. We also have a, a position telling us that the machine's in either in work or it's raised in the full lift position. On our top right, we have our low lift. And then here, one, two, three, four, we have our presets. 
we can preset our depth for any of the machine we want to do. So any, we can have any configuration of the four zones and we can store those. We use our presets, in this case, one, two, three, four. For example, one would be for our working depth of the machine in the field, for example. And we get to a tram line, we may want to press number two and we can preset the machine to work deeper. And when each, any zone is changed, the others will compensate. So in this case, our system disc levelers and steel runner will remain the same depth, but the tines can actually go deeper. That's a really an amazing feature and that's the first time we've ever been able to do this. The presets can be programmed on the move. We can adjust the working depth of that particular zone, a system disc or time, and that enables us we can then save that setting, allowing us to record, if you like, that, that position. We can find the sweet spot for the tractor and we can always get the right agronomy and the right finish just behind the machine. Remember that when we used to go with the classic depth control, we could only raise the machine. With this new electronics, we can go deeper or shallower, depends on what we want to do. Similar to a rapid drill or to a spirit tempo, we've got a low lift function, and that gives us the ability to turn easier, quicker, more efficiently on the headland. When we're happy, we have a pro programmable joystick now on this fence. We'll take a look at that in a, in a little bit and that enables us to optimize the machine. So it's all the time trying to get the best out of the machine we can. So we have a light function as well. The machine will be equipped with lights uh, in, in the final production run. And on the screen itself, we've got familiar symbols with the settings and the calibration. So we need to calibrate the top-down e-services to allow for points wear or disc wear. Further to the screen, we've got various calibration for the valves and for the tools and for the time pressure those are background settings we all need statistics on our machine and just like a, a drill again we've got daily seasonal total so now we can record the exact amount of hectares the machine's done and that gives us a good measure of what we what the machine's performance is doing and that helps with costings and it helps the farm managers diagnostics is really important the machine has inbuilt diagnostics We've got information on the workstation, or we can look at individual condition of the valves, the outputs, the voltages, etc. So for a service guy, that's really important. We can look at all the voltages going in and out of the work, workstation X. Talking to customers, talking to farmers, they've all requested that they want the machine to do more. This system enables us to be able to change the depth on the move from the tractor cab, whether it be deeper or shallower, to get the right conditions, to get the right finish, to absolutely optimise this top down. Depth is really easy to adjust. We can in this case go to the tines, symbol shows the actual position and the target position. By pressing the logo, we can plus or increase, press done and the machine automatically moves. And it also moves faster than it would normally do on the tractor spools. We do also have fault codes if we need them, just like we do on all our other equipment. In this case, we've put in there just to show you a sensor that's disconnected and it actually shows that as well. So we have built-in alarms to help operators and dealers and technicians to find out and troubleshoot the problems. This is a 1050 Fent tractor, a new one. We've got here uh, system disc symbols on the VT screen of the tractor and we've also got the leveling symbols, leveling discs uh, on there. These are replicated on the joystick. On the left of the green is the system disc and the right is the red ones for the levelers. If we come across an obstacle in the field and we really need to lift out quick, we can press this button here and it's programmed and the machine will fully lift up. When we go past the obstacle we press that one again and it fully goes down. The toggles we can use to go and set and adjust the machine in a small amount or a large amount if we want to do. So it's totally controllable, totally programmable, totally interacting with the tractor.